Do you know what I like to do on Fridays? I like to look at some baseball cards. Hey guys, I got a lot for you today. First, I want to send out a special thank you. I got a fabulous gift. Uh, somebody went up to Sammy Thunder at a show and said, I have something for Mangini. He said he needed this. Here you go. And what a generous gift. Now, I only know him as Tom from Milford, from what Sammy told me. Tom, I want to I wanna thank you so much. This is such a generous gift. Please reach out so I can thank you directly. But this is a Tony Lazeri Diamond Stars. Fantastic card. What a generous gift. Man, this community is so wonderful. That said, you know, I love to see women in the hobby. Love to see it. I think we need more women. And I recently shouted out a channel, Melissa. She had one subscriber, her daughter. And now I know she's over 50. But I think we could do better than that. So I want to shout out some ladies in the hobby. I want to shout out three channels. First is Melissa. Melissa, I don't know how to pronounce your last name and I don't want to butcher it. I think it's Gogger. Um, but I will put a link to all these channels. So Melissa has just an amazing collection. She's been collecting since, since she was seven years old. Every card she has is a banger. And she has a whole room of signed memorabilia. She did a tour and it's insane. It looks like a museum. So I'm gonna put a link to her channel. Check her out. Hello everybody. Just uh, out to make my very first video. My name's Melissa and I've been collecting cards since I was seven years old. I also wanna shout out Sports Card Queen. I think uh, she was up for Hobby First Lady on Sports Card Radio. And I got introduced to her when she started commenting on my uh, my channel. And uh, she she uh, deals in cards. So check her out. I'll put a link to her too. Another one of Bo Nix. This one is a refractor. This is not numbered. Okay. A 10 again. Woo! Another 10. And lastly, but not leastly, I want to shout out Christine. Christine is just starting to get into selling cards. She is, man, she knows a lot about sports, especially hockey. I couldn't believe how much she knows. And she's been a sports fanatic since she was a little kid. Just started doing lives and selling some cards. And Sports Card Radio really helped her out. And I want to help her out too. I'm going to put a link uh, to her live that I watched uh, in the description as well. Check her out. What I wanted to talk talk about a little background. Um, I've been collecting since I was like five, six years old. And I always loved the hobby. I just had a great love for it. But when I was like 18, I just stopped collecting and, you know, went to college and concerts and, you know, did what teenagers, people in their 20s do. And um, I started collecting again during the pandemic because... I just really didn't have anything to do. But what I didn't know is how much the hobby had changed since, like, 90. Okay, I want to show you some cards that, that I got. Uh, first, I had shown you guys these photo fun cards. These were, this is the package, but these were self-developing cards that came with little frames. And I had mentioned that I was getting two more. And these are, this is a rare set. So I got the Pepper Martin. And the Billy Herman. He doesn't have a whole lot of cards, so I like to grab him when I can. This is just a, a, an amazing looking card. This is the 1909 Philadelphia Carmel, Harry Krause. How cool is that? So 
is what the Philadelphia Cardinals look like on the back. I just love the old E cards. They are little works of art. Got this 1952 Burke Ross, Gil McDougal. Work on this set from time to time. And the 51 too. And I got this stamp, this is 1961. I have most of the, at least all the big names, but I did not have a Hank Aaron stamp, so I picked one up. And I have to say that PSA does an amazing job with their uh, new holders for these. I mean, look at that thing. It's in there nice and securely, and it presents beautifully. Now, I find grading stamps a bit silly. I can't tell the difference between a nine and a two. I've never seen them faked, and they're certainly not trimmed. So, it is what it is. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this stamp. It's super clean. If this was a seven or an eight, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And these stamps, you know, a lot cheaper way to collect some of the great players. How many of you chased Tony Mandarich back in the day? It's actually a pretty great card. I also wanted to tell you guys, you might be familiar with the 1993 Conlon cards here. Any of you that collect Nolan Ryan, you know he has a card in here. Those of you who collect Nolan Ryan, you know who you are. I don't know if you have one of these, but you completists might want one. All right, I want to send a shout out to my man Godlike Collectibles. He introduced me to this player. And I never knew about him. And it's uh, it's Hiram Bithorn, who was the first Puerto Rican player. And this is a 1972 Puerto Rican League stamp. It's what's awesome about YouTube. You get to learn so much. I thought I'd show you the other ones that I have. I have a satchel page here. And from my hometown area, Bus Clarkson. Now, his name was Buster Clarkson. Some people call him Buzz, but he went by bus, as in school bus. And he was a veteran on the, on the team with uh, Roberto Clemente when he was young. And he was uh, kind of the, the captain of the team. Now, I, I listened to a live a discussion on Negro Leagues, and they said that he was Roberto Clemente's first manager in Puerto Rico. Now, I'm I'm not sure of that. I know he was a uh, senior player on that team. And, uh, you know, one of the leaders of the team. I don't know if anybody could confirm or deny if he was indeed his coach. Then I have a few Pittsburgh Pirates. I have Manny Sanguian. And there are some great players in this set. I know there's a Ron C, uh, Say, Ron Say, the Penguin, is in this set. I think Mike Schmidt's in this set. Here's a Richie Zisk. Good hitter. Part of the Lumber Company in the mid-70s for the Pirates. And uh, Bob Johnson, who was a pitcher for the Pirates. I love these International League cards. I got me an Anthony Volpe. And I got this, and I knew that the label was loose. This is a, a 1961 Bazooka complete sheet. And it has Minnie Minoso, Dick Grote, and Frank Malzone. And it's fabulous. Really sharp. But this is loose. It's not totally off, but it's, it's loose. So I don't know if I should crack it out or send it in for a new holder. It's a 7.5. You know, this is a warning. Uh, all you that say that you, you get your cards uh, slabbed to protect them, 
you know, when this showed up, if this if this comes totally off, that thing can slide out and the corners can get dinged. Uh, and this is not the first one I've had uh, that came loose. It happens. So you got to be careful. What I always recommend and what I do is I always put it in a protective sleeve, you know, a perfect fit sleeve. Now, they don't make perfect fit sleeves for the SGC here, but they do for PSA and they do fit these. They're just a little oversized, but I still use them. That way, uh, it kind of holds it together. Just so you know. All right. That's what I have for you. Hey, check out the wonderful ladies of the hobby. And Tom, thank you again. I appreciate it so much. That's what I have for you. Hey, have a great weekend. And thanks for hanging out with me.